I ain't got to worry about no ice. They ain't pulling me over either. Oh, my God. I ain't got to worry about no level one or level two D.O.T. inspection. Oh, my God. Like, hey, hey, man. The money might not be as good as it was when we were owner operator running our own authority. But, man, bro, you know what a level one and a level two inspection? Hey, I mean, I ain't got nothing to worry about. I wasn't gonna do this YouTube, but I just, man, that view is just, that view is just gorgeous, y'all. Yes, sir, this is, that view is just gorgeous. We on the second load on the hopper bottom, y'all. Second load on the hopper bottom. Boy, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. These trips are so damn long. <laughs> man, YouTube, what's going on today? What is going on? What is going on? Let us go ahead and now, uh, let's go ahead and sign in real quick and get this ticket before we get this party started. Y'all yeah, already know the drill, the first ski ask. Not the first ski ask of the day. All right, let's do English. Accept, you always do that. I'm gonna ask you for that PO number. One eight three six. Let's see if they recognize it, man. Let's go enter. Ah, uh, who we picking up for? Who? Uh, here we go, Pioneer. Yes, sir. Okay. Now what they're gonna do, they're gonna ask you who your carrier is. They always do it. Sometimes it takes a little bit to pop up. And here we go. Um, I, I'm gonna guess that one. I don't even know, man. And then obviously, you know, all this raggedy ass info. All right, trailer. It's like eight, four, five, three, five. And, and then, you know, y'all help me do this, so. I know y'all remember picking this up with me, so don't play. Ah, uh, what do we want? What do we want? Load. I'm just going to leave it like that. I ain't got a whole lot of time. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Are we able to change that? No, we cannot. We cannot change the target load on this one. So let's go ahead and print this baby out. There we go. The notorious ticket. Y'all be watching me enough. Y'all should have this down to the T already. YouTube, what is going on? Like, when I tell you I struggle, man, I don't be lying. I be struggling between five to seven, yeah. Oh, we got to find out which lane we're supposed to be picking up on. Which lane, which lane? I caught into, uh, damn. Come on now, which lane, people? Which lane? Ah, uh, that's right. Over here, they don't say. All right, so... The, the, this one is one of the loadouts where you pull up, you just, you pick a lane, make sure you hit that phone number. Once you get to what lane you want, we're gonna stick with this lane right here. We're gonna stick with this lane right here. I wasn't gonna do this, YouTube. I was not gonna do this, man. I'm so damn tired, boy. But, but what I will let y'all know, Usually once I pass that six o'clock threshold, my body just, it's weird as hell. I don't know how to explain, but my body just kicked back into gear. He says, wake your ass up and let's get to this money. But man, five and six o'clock, oh my God. Like right before I started recording this, 
I was already contemplating on pulling over after I get loaded for like one hour nap. But as y'all can see, the sun is about to come up, and I, I can't, I can't, I can't afford it. I can't afford to. I take one hour nap. We got to stay on the money. We got to stay on the money, YouTube. And uh, as usual, I still ain't bought a new. Uh, I haven't got a new dash cam yet. I mean, uh, the little visor thing yet, all right? So y'all gonna have to deal with me. Y'all gonna have to deal with the kid, all right? That's why we got two phones out here, man. Two phones, all right? So let's stop right here because there's somebody in front of us loading. We gotta take a picture of the damn ticket. Y'all gotta know, if you come out here, don't make me look bad now. When you come out here, you say Hamilton referred you. All right, wait. Or whatever you're gonna say. Don't make me look bad, man. Do not make me look bad. I'm trying to find somewhere to put you out. Damn it. That's as good as you're gonna get for right now. Don't make me look bad out here, man. Because by now, y'all should already have his damn to the T. Y'all should have this down now to the T. And we always take a picture of the ticket. That's just what they required over here, all right? Step number one, done. Step number one is done. So we're done with that. I wasn't going to block. Otherwise, I would have started at uh, 8 o'clock yesterday, which is when I started at 8 p.m., that night shift. So... But we didn't, <laughs> because I didn't want to bluff. That's what I'm trying to, I did not want to bluff today. <coughs> but, but, second load on the upper bottom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to see it in action. You got to see something in action. We're going to go ahead and call this number. That'll be the number up there on top. I've showed you all before. So I, I, I don't need to show you all today. I feel like, but if I do, let me know. Put it on the comment. I'm telling you, you've never been in the oil field. You watch my channel enough, you're going to get down the basics. The video I'm about to drop, it's, it's supposed to be uploading right now. You damn near gonna know how to use the half a bottom like you've been running it for three years. It took me three minutes to teach you this. But that's just how it is. And the hunger for my ass. I gotta wait for, I guess, Whoever's in front of me to clear, so they will hang up on your ass. Or oh, the guy wasn't in the office, which it looks like that's the case. I see him walking in now. So we're gonna call again. We're gonna scoot up a little bit. If y'all fall, don't worry. I got ya. You've reached US Silicon Lamina, Logout, Millhouse, Door 4. All of our lines are currently busy. It ain't busy. It ain't busy, man. 556421. Five, yeah, it ain't, it ain't that busy. Just nobody in the office to pick it up, so we're gonna try again. Good morning. Yo. I, I, I'm over here at lane 7. Why are you barely calling? Huh? Why are you barely calling? I, I, I called like twice. No answer, man. I answered one of them. Nobody uh, told me nothing. So I'll go 
Oh, my bad, man. My bad. I usually be waiting for that hello. My bad. I didn't hear anything. All right. I'm in lane seven. Uh, the last the last four of my ticket is 0302-447. It's uh, 0302-447. No, it's just a three-letter word. It's just a three-number word. Oh, it's 447. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's a five F load, but I'm with them all. All right, thank you. If you want me to back up, let me know. Alright, All right, you want me to put the brakes? No, All right. All right. Yes, sir. Alright. Right. I guess pull the brakes. You got to deal with that sometime. It's early. What time is it? It's 7 o'clock in the morning. People just coming in. Ain't nobody really got a whole lot of patience out here, man. So it will be like that sometime. It will be like that sometime, you two. How, oh, man. I don't know if I can handle this hopper bottom loads, man. It's not that I can't handle it. The first load I got... Picked up in um, in Vista Comet, bro. That's a from where I was at. It was like eighty something miles dead ahead. The load it was like hundred and twenty miles. I got to the well. Freaking Pioneer sucks. I put in signs on the road to direct you to the well. So I took on the whole hour finding the damn well. Get I could see the well, like the well was literally where that. Uh, can y'all see that truck? Where that truck is in front of me. But there was no road to get there. I've been to this location twice, but what it is, the well moved. The, the GPS took me to the general location, so I thought I knew how to get to it from the previous times I was there, but the well moved. I had to do a whole, like, four-mile detour when I finally... Man, it was too much. It was too much, man. But that's neither here and there. But that's part of the off field. You got to expect that, you know? Yeah, we got to finesse this clock right now. We've got to finesse this clock. Ah, oh, damn. I got two hours and 55 minutes left of drive time. I got to do a whole 100 miles. I'm gonna have to sleep right there by the customer, y'all. That's that's what it looks like. I'll be right back. I gotta figure this out. Hold on, y'all. We had to do some paperwork, YouTube. We had to do some paperwork. Well, like I said, man of my word. Um, the video that's been downloaded right now gonna teach y'all what I bought, but I'm just about to show y'all how we close this thing that's gonna make you a whole lot of money. I'm gonna show you the complicated way how to close. Look at this, you pull that handle, bam. Make sure, make sure it's notch, okay? And this, this cutter pin supposed to go right here, right? But this one is kind of short and that's a common thing with these, all right? That's it. <laughs> we have secured the load and now we can roll down the road. Yeah, sorry about that, man. It, it took a second 
because the freaking thing they want to print my receipt the BOLs and all that they didn't want to print it and so I had to uh, sit there spend some time make some phone call call the people back and say hey what's going on usually you just scan your ticket and you get your load but this time that's not what happened but it's alright man it's a beautiful freaking morning man oh my god it's beautiful Beautiful morning, YouTube. Beautiful morning. It's a gorgeous morning, YouTube. I'm tired and the mofo, but guess what, man? Guess what? Whenever that sun hit me, I gotta be the melanin. I got to be the melanin, because whenever that sun hit me, I'm wide awake. I already told you my struggle from five to seven. Five, I don't know why. I really still can't figure it out. But that time frame, I'm struggling doing that shit. I'm getting better. I mean, we're out here dozing up, but we out here damn near making financial decisions between that time. Whether to continue, pull over, take a... I don't trust myself with naps. I've never been able to take no one hour nap. Once I lay down, <laughs> it's over with. That's all she said after that. It's over with. It is over with once I lay down. So I usually will try to push through. You got to learn yourself. You got to know who you are. Don't do what I do. If you're not one of those people, for some reason, you feel brave enough, you want to do a nice shit, which I highly recommend because I really believe that's where the money is. Like this load right here, I'm probably going to catch traffic on this load now because it's 7 o'clock. But my first load, my first load was like, <coughs> what time, like 3, 4 o'clock? I was number two in line, and the other guy was pulling out as I was pulling in. So it was it was it was easy money. But now y'all gonna see. I wasn't gonna blog, but y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. When we get there, I guarantee you there's gonna be a line. Cause now everybody don't woke up. Everybody decided they want to get to the money too. Now I gotta wait on their ass too, man. But y'all got lucky, man. Cause like I said, I wasn't gonna blog nothing. Cause I already recorded a video teaching y'all how to use this. Top of bottom, three minutes of the session, that was it. You can literally use that knowledge you've seen on that video and go to any oil field job, pull in hopper bottom and act like you know what you're doing. We should do. We should do. I mean, you already got the, the basic logistics of it, you know. You know how to check in from previous videos. You know how to scan your paperwork from previous videos. You know, you know what to look for, when to pull out, when not. It's so forth and so on, man. Come on, man. Hey, I ain't leaving no stone unturned, man. No gatekeeping out here. No gatekeeping out here. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. Nah, man, the gatekeeping day is over. Oh, yeah, the name is chasing Mr. Hamilton. Not chasing something else. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gatekeeping, but that's it. So let only close this trailer. Y'all saw me pull a handle and that's it. There's two components of operating this trailer, which the video, whenever that video upload, you're gonna see what those components are. It ain't nothing, man. It ain't nothing. I recommend it greatly. If it's your first time in the oil field, you're gonna come out here. Nomadic is, is way more. Oh my God. Nomadic is way more. But nomadic, like I said in other videos, is like riding a bike. Once you got it down, you take some safety precautions, you cross your eyes, you cross your, what is it, cross your T's, dot your eyes, you'll be all right. That's it, you'll be all right. But nomadic is way more dangerous. This, this is, man, listen. When you're pulling the hopper bottom, out of the step you're gonna you learn on the video uploading, when you're pulling the hopper, 90% of the time you're only doing one of those steps. The other step is handled by the frat coordinator, or whoever is on site, they handle that. You just sit here and chill. It's almost damn near like bumping ducks. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's almost like bumping ducks, but not really, you know, cause we out here, you know what I'm saying? We're in the oil field. You ain't bumping no damn ducks, but that's almost how easy it is to run a hopper bottom, all right? Yeah, man, that sun look good. On oh my God, that sun. Man, look, this morning sun. Soak it in, baby. Wake me up. Because 20 minutes ago, I was going to sacrifice an hour or two, man, to get some sleep. It be that bad sometimes. It be that bad. The reason why it's so bad, you don't have no visual distractions at night, man. That's, that's why some people can't handle it. 
for me, I thug it out. I thug it out. Even though I'm going to have to damn near spend the night, as soon as I deliver this, that's what it looks like. Because it's 106 miles, and this least roads, I'm literally going to have to do the speed limit on this. So, I got 2 hours and 55 minutes to play with. So, hopefully... I get in there, the line is not too crazy. I get unloaded, then I'm gonna thug it out to the nearest truck stop. Oh, I sleep at the customer, like I said, I don't care. I mean, I can't sleep at the customer, but you gotta pull up on the side of the road or find an open spot. But uh, but yeah, man, we're about to get in the wind, y'all. We're about to get in the wind. There we go. Y'all enjoy that sun right there, man. Uh, that's beautiful right there. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Once we get one, once this thing open up, you already know what time it is, man. You already know, because we ain't got no time to waste, and I'm wide awake. I swear, 20 minutes ago, y'all, I was struggling. I was struggling. But that's part of the game, man. That, 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 that's the trick to the night shift. You just got to thug it out to 7, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Usually 7, 30, 7, 45, depending on when the sun decides. Because once that sun hit this melanin, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Once it hit this melanin, Oh, uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm wide awake. I can probably do another 12. You can let me. Oh, uh, yeah. Like I said, we're getting in the wind. So don't be surprised now. We got 109 miles to deliver this load. This right here is like OTR miles. I ain't going to lie, man. Because the first load was damn near over 200 miles. It was 90-something miles to this pickup. And now for some reason going back is 100 and... What is it? 107... I don't know how the hell that happened. You would think it would be the same distance going as it is coming. But I guess it all depends on the route I'm going to take going back. Wish I'm about to check that right now. I'm going to check that. Because I need, I need to cut all the corners I can cut. Anyways, you too. Wind the wind. Let me get on that. I will see you when we get close to the money. All right. The money is right there, you too. I'm turning this on because I try my best to warn people about things, right? The oil field is great. But these damn lease roads, if you are somebody with already a pre-existing back problems, I, I'm telling you right now, you better bring a whole lot of cushion. <laughs> Boy, these lease roads will jiggle the heck out of your spine and everything else that's going to hurt is going to hurt. I'm letting you know right now. Just letting y'all know right now, but yeah, the money's right there. We are. Uh, easiest job ever. He just sit in that car and signal, tell us to go in instead of staging. That's what I like to see. But yeah, y'all, like, um, this lease roads are no joke, y'all. If you've never been to the oil field, the lease road is the road leading to the well. And they are bumpy, hella bumpy. Literally, I, on the first load, this place I just came from, now actually, the first time I went to deliver over here, but I ended up way over there. I told you that story already. Um, that path was, so, was worse than this. And there's also another way we got going on in New Mexico that's apparently, the least road is worse than this any 30 miles long. And you're doing 15 miles an hour. So, don't come out here saying, oh, Hamilton, you know, you neglect, oh, Lord. Don't come out here saying, I neglect you, neglected to warn you about these bumps, these bumpy roads. If I did, well, I'm reminding your ass now. These least roads, or no joke and i'm serious if you got back problems bring a whole lot of cushion or just stay you know on the smooth pavement you know that uh, hopefully it ain't for everybody you know what i'm saying it ain't for everybody you too i'm gonna I'm be honest this list roads whoo boy and the crazy thing is when you do night shift your ass still gonna get tired even with all these bumps you're still gonna get drowsy for me I thug it out, but as soon as that song can't come up, man, that's it. Yeah, here we go. Here goes the money right there. 
the money is here. I heard this well is actually shutting down. You know, they, they just finished that. This one supposedly gonna be finished pretty soon. Sometime today or tomorrow. Um, yeah. It's all right, at least we got two loads out of it. Yeah, yeah, we just on two loads right now. Definitely just two loads, you two. These people got the easiest jobs ever, man. They just be out here chilling, sitting in trucks in that little box and getting paid. They, I don't know what to do, but I know they're getting paid to play security, I guess. But yes, sir. Y'all see that? So right now, it's probably around 8.30. There's no line. There's no line. I guarantee you by 12, everybody in the mom are gonna be here. Early, I was the second in line, but obviously that ain't gonna be the case now, but I think I, I definitely already seen somebody else pulling in before me. But the beauty about this right here, I'm gonna tell y'all, the beauty about the hopper bottom, you see those things up there? You go in, what they do, they slide that stuff under your trailer, it literally takes like two minutes to get unloaded, man. If that, it's crazy. That's the difference between hopper bottom. Not only is it easier to work with, easier just to know, like, the levels and the handles and then just to operate, it's also way faster to unload. Way faster to unload. All right, so I'm gonna stage right here until one of these guys wave me. Okay, he already waved me in. All right. But yeah, those things going into the silos, they put it under there, it's like an esca escalator. And boom, you're done. Because you already know, one of them get the paperwork, they sign on it. Yeah, that's a little song I'm working on. They sign on it, you take it, boom, you go, and that's it. Y'all see that right there? Y'all see that? That's it, that's literally all they do, they slide onto it. They slide onto, you dump in the sand, the sand go on that thing and go up there and that's it. If I had a freaking windshield mount, I would see, I would let y'all see here and watch them unload it, but I also gotta be careful because this is like only my second time on this side. I don't know what the restriction and all that is. But y'all get the gist of it, man. That's why hopper bottom, you're new to the airfield, oil field, hopper bottom, I highly recommend you start with it. It's easy to operate. It's like bumping ducks. I ain't gotta get out, he ain't gotta get out. As for that bottom hopper right there, we don't even have to open it, why? Because we ain't getting out. They do that, that's their job. That's why they getting the big bucks right there. Yeah, easy money, man. I'm trying to tell you, easy freaking money. All right. You just gotta come and learn. I mean, you know, you got it speed, slow down. Whenever, the, whenever this well shut down, I was told, um, it's gonna take about three days. They're gonna reposition it somewhere else, and it does, you know. And then we're gonna get back on business like three days. But meanwhile, while that happened, I'm most likely gonna start taking loads to New Mexico, even though I don't want to, because that means New Mexico route is long as hell. But then again, this one was long as hell. Shoot, my first load, 120 miles, man. From the loadout to over here, the first load, the second one was 92 miles. All right, good, he's calling us now. So we can go in. We can go in, folks. All right, I'll see you in a second. Yes, sir, how you doing, man? I heard you guys making all the money out here. <laughs> so I guess Apache closed, huh? Because I know you are at the other side, right? I know you are at the other side. At Apache, did they close? No. Oh, that one is still going? The, I don't the, the, know. Okay. Like, I, I'm talking about the side in Midland. What? The, the Apache side in Midland. I thought I saw you over there. No? Oh, okay, okay. No, I haven't been to the Apache. Oh, okay. I, I've been over here. I got you. Hey, excuse me. It's, one, one second, one second. So this one is done with the day or tomorrow? Tomorrow? Okay. All right, so this one will be done with tomorrow. So, yeah. I work night shift, so I'm pretty much, you know, I, I can't do no third load. I'm barely surviving by the head of my chinny chin chin. I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to make it to 
a safe haven site. We always make it a safe haven. <laughs> we ain't sleeping on the side of no damn road. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care what they say. They can whine, complain. We making it to a truck stop. I'm going to tell you that right now. See how quick that was? He pull in when I pull in. He's done. He's done. That's how quick this thing is, man. He's done. <laughs> That's why, as a newbie, you want to hop a button. Also, look at that. Is that, is that a freaking like... Hold on, y'all. Check this. Check this out. Yes, you see that motor right there? I'm trying to see. Is that, is that an engine? It's, it's some kind of motor, though. I guess that's what powering the conveyor belt. But yeah, he's done. He's, he's leaving. That is how easy it is. When it's my turn, that's how quick it's going to be for me as well. Anyway, so I'm going to stop this. Do what I got to do. Once we roll out, once we get empty, which might be like a 5-10 minutes. I, uh, and then we're gonna find a truck stop and then uh, I get back with y'all, all right? Hang tight. Easiest money they can make to literally all they gotta do is press a button, y'all. They're pressing a the button, they ain't gotta do nothing. Well, they gotta do that manual labor, which is opening. Remember that the, 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 the second hopper I told you about? Yeah, they gotta open that, but that's it. That is literally it, folks. As you can see, everybody getting that easy money. The easy money in the oil field. Except for you. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Some people don't want to mess their back up. Some people don't want to deal with all these bumps. Some people don't want to be looking at million dollar facilities every time they deliver a load. Look at what that man is doing. Not a damn thing. That man press a button. That thing slide right on the matrito. He probably getting like $22, $25 an hour just to push a button. You too? Just to push a button. Everybody getting that easy money. But y'all, y'all want to talk about, oh, 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 did you see? Oh, it's sunny as hell. <laughs> it's sunny. There's no snow, snow in sight out here in West Texas. No snow in sight. Oh, man. No snow in sight. In West Texas, I ain't got to worry about no ice. <laughs> I ain't got to worry about no ice. They ain't pulling me over either. Oh my God. I ain't got to worry about no level one or level two DOT inspection. Oh my God, like, hey, hey man, the money might not be as good as it was when we were owner operator or running our own authority, but man, bro, you know what a level one and a level two inspection, hey, I mean, I ain't got nothing to worry about. The truck might look raggedy on the outside, but it's tip top under the hood. Under the hood, we all good. No ice, no snow. <laughs> the only thing I see is that though. Oh my God. Oh my God, you two. Anyways, man, I just want to let y'all know. Now, you, you can go to the snow. Uh, uh, you can go worry about the ice. You can go worry about the level one and the level two inspections. Or you can come on away to Texas. <laughs> Where there ain't no green grass. And there's a whole lot of bumpy roads. But it's going to be better days, man. Because we all getting to that easy money. That easy money. That easy money. We made it. We made it. Yeah, we done for the day. We done for the day. The pros and cons. Of working night shift. Ah, man, that boy's window is dirty. Yeah, he's he gotta be like <laughs> DOT favorite target, man. Golly. That man or woman got a whole mop on the windshield. <laughs> the pros and cons, right? I pull in to sleep while it's noisy. It's getting to that 
that money, that's that water money. Every time you see a trailer with WHP, he's hauling water in the oil field. It's sunny as hell, loud as hell. You have to be disciplined to be able to sleep. But that's what we're doing, man. By eight, nine o'clock, we'll be ready to roll. Actually, more like seven, because it's not even one o'clock yet, so. We're gonna put in that 10 hours because they switched me to US logs instead of Texas log. Texas log, I only had a seat for eight. It's all good, we're still gonna make it work. So, I started this so I can put y'all on another lick because I love y'all, man, we family. Ain't no gatekeeping out here. I'm gonna tell you how you get your most, the most for your money. No, when I tell you, I'm gonna show you how to get the most of your money. Damn it. I judge wrong, y'all, I judge wrong. Hold on. Golly, all right. Well, we're gonna have to do a little bit of walking, y'all. But I wasn't, I wasn't trying to tell y'all. Yes, sir. Oh, him? Oh, okay, okay, all right. I wasn't trying to... Definitely not. I have food. Because one of them chicken alone with no sides is like $11, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. I misjudged where it was. I thought this was my usual spot. But that's what happened when... Uh, that's what happened when you're desperately out of hours. I cross the street. Y'all see that so no code? Yeah, the real ones know where I'm going. The real ones know where I'm going. I ain't got to tell you, but I'm going to say it anyways for the newbies. Laredo Mother Tackles. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're in the oil field, if you're anywhere in the valley, like Brownsville, Laredo, uh, sure, San Antonio, uh, Cthulhu, Sure, even some part of nah, in, in not Houston, some part of Dallas, going more toward the other way of Dallas. Laredo Taco is your best bet. I'm talking about you're gonna get a whole chicken seasoned food, two sides. I be getting it for like eight bucks. And when I'm out here, I only eat once a day, so obviously, you know. So I'm gonna put y'all on game. Y'all about to see unless. They try to F with my money, which is a possibility. I don't think they are. But if that's the case, then we're just going to go to Moe's. Moe's is right there, Flying J. But usually Laredo, man, as you can see, my fat ass will work for some Laredo taco. I always get the same thing. They have chicken with two sides and extra jalapenos for like $9. Half chicken, a pilot. I would have told you it's like 11 bucks. Each side is like three dollars. Be drier than the mofo, man. Drier than the Sierra Desert. So make your pick. I see y'all when I get in there. You ain't gotta follow my advice though. You ain't, you ain't gotta do all that. I'm just trying to put y'all on game. Now they said the game is sold no toe, but you family, so I'll tell y'all for free. After that, what we're about to do is we're gonna go ahead and close this uh Close this vlog. Oh boy, out there looking at me like he ain't never seen a sexy dog skin with cowboy hat. Come on, people. Put respect on my name. All right. Here we go. Oh, y'all thought I forgot you. Y'all thought I forgot about you. I told you I was going to let y'all see. Now, we're going to do the pricing accordingly. Okay, we're not about to cap. We ain't going to do nothing. Okay. And before I show you this food, before the fat jokes start, I want y'all to know I'm not even gonna eat half of these. I'm gonna eat, and then when I wake up tonight, I'm gonna eat the rest. So keep the fat jokes to yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you with your fat ass, like to do the fat jokes, okay? So let me show you. I'm gonna tell you right now what the price is, what I got for one of them was like seven twenty nine. The other one ended up cost me five dollars. It was like five thirty five. It was under six bucks. You know, what, let's just run it up to six dollars, okay? 
seventh and sixth. So that's twelve dollars under thirteen bucks collectively. Now let me show you what I got from Loredo Taco. Now keep in mind they didn't have my usual plate. They didn't have the half chicken or rice. So I finessed my way and the lady was able to sub in something else in replacement of the rice. Otherwise, I usually only get the half chicken with two sides. So usually my consist of rice and mac and cheese. Okay. Let me show you what I got for once again, seven and six. And that's on the high side. No. The seven dollar one was like seven forty something. You know what? Let's say eight dollars. Eight dollars and six dollars. All right. So now that brings us to what? Fourteen bucks, right? Hell no. So let's say fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, fifteen dollars on the high side. Because we're rounding up. We're not here to do math. Okay. I ain't here to do math. I'm here to tell you what fifteen dollars can get you at Laredo Taco, or you can go to Love's and buy two eggs and a soda. <laughs> because you ain't getting a whole plate. Now nah, let me show you what I got from Laredo, the MF and tacos. Oh please, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to draw the. I was about to draw the curtain, close it up, start chowing. Then I was like, hold on, I gotta show my people. The first thing first, I got three tortillas that come with this. Okay, three tortillas. Now look, look, look. Check it, check it. Okay, be because they didn't do the plate, I finessed my way. To, I got two meats instead. I love this. That's pig skin. Yeah, I love that. I don't care what y'all say. Uh, this, this, and this will be the eight dollar. It was seven something, but this is the one we round up to eight dollars, and it come with three tortillas. I'm trying to stay away from flour, but you know. Anyways, they didn't have my half chicken. Okay, all right, all right. So we got to do what we do. All right, so this will be the round up eight dollars. It was less than that, but we rounded that up to eight dollars. And then, my boy, if you ever been to Laredo Taco, you seen this. Monster steroid field thigh chicken. Oh my god. Bam. One. Two. I ain't gonna get them all out because I'm probably not gonna eat any, any of these. This is probably what I'm gonna be chowing on all through my next shift. Okay. There's four of these. Each of these was five dollars. So we're gonna round this up to six. Okay, six dollars collective. It was like a dollar and some change for each one, okay. I've seen some things that they charge for a dollar for a truck stop. It's nowhere close to this. I don't care what you say. All right. So four ties collectively. Let's just say six dollars. It was five something, but we're going to round it up to six. And we're going to round this up to eight. The drink was free. It is what it is, my boy. And then you got three flour tortillas. So collectively, $15. This is what you get. This is what I got from Laredo. All right. That's it. I want you all to know. Don't say I never put you all on. Laredo Taco, give it a shot if you ain't never tried it. So now, we're going to have to conclude this blog because this is way longer than I wanted it to be because I wasn't going to make no blog in the first place. I, I was not. No, no, I was too tired fighting the sleep. I think one of the reasons why today was uh, particularly bad was because yesterday... I woke up at like 10. I didn't go back to sleep at all. And I got my first load at like 9 p.m. I woke up at like 10 a.m. Got my first load at 9 p.m. So I stayed up all that time. Okay? Like, it was editing video, trying to post the video, this and that, whatever. That's like, oh. And I was trying to figure out paperwork. I was getting transition, so forth and so on. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's why this last shift was particularly rough. Okay? But uh, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, we ain't got no snow. We ain't got no level one, level two inspection. We got none of that out here. None of that. And when you watch last next, the first video, hope you know I'm about to check up on that right now. When I'm done with y'all, you're gonna learn to operate the new equipment I'm operating like you pro, like you've been doing it for three, four years. Oh yeah, no gatekeeping, no get. If you wanna wanna get out of the the the, 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 the driving, okay, you wanna be somewhere in a. I don't wanna say stable job, but in a stable area where it's radius, 
It's just a back and forth, back and forth, you know. So your side chick, your baby mama and all that will know what's up. Um, you might want to give the oil field a try, man. You might, hey, you seen the logo. All you got to do is hit that description. Slide on my Snapchat. And I got you, man. Come on. Hey, hey. No snow. No snow. <laughs> no level one inspection. No $300 fine out here. Oh, yeah. We stay compliant, damn it. We stay compliant.